Welcome back to our channel, Storm Rider. The 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601. Destroyer represents a major leap forward in naval engineering and maritime defense for the Philippine Navy. Building upon years of design evolution and operational experience, this new generation warship blends advanced technology, versatility, and formidable power in one platform. Named after the historic province of Tarlac, the vessel symbolizes strength, resilience, and progress, qualities that perfectly match its mission profile in both peacetime and conflict. Unlike earlier ships in the Tarlac class, the 2026 variant pushes the envelope with state-of-the-art systems that allow it to serve as a destroyer, amphibious support ship, and fleet command center, all in one. At the heart of the BRP Tarlac LD601's design is a new hull architecture optimized for stealth and hydrodynamic efficiency. The ship's sleek angular lines reduce radar cross-section, making it far less detectable to enemy tracking systems. The hull is made of composite steel alloys and lightweight materials, improving speed, maneuverability, and fuel economy without sacrificing durability. This design allows the destroyer to cut through high seas with minimal drag, maintaining stability even in rough weather conditions. Engineers have incorporated an advanced stabilization system that reduces roll and pitch, ensuring smooth operation during weapon launches, helicopter takeoffs, and amphibious missions. In terms of speed, the ship is capable of exceeding 32 knots, powered by a hybrid propulsion system combining gas turbines and electric drives. This not only delivers raw power, but also significantly lowers acoustic signatures, which is vital for stealth operations. The power and performance of the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601 are further enhanced by its integrated combat system, which ties together sensors, radars, missiles, and countermeasures into a single networked environment. The ship features the Aegis-inspired TACNAV system, a locally developed combat management framework that allows real-time data fusion from various sources. This system can track hundreds of aerial, surface, and underwater threats simultaneously and recommend optimized responses within seconds. The radar suite includes the AESA, Active Electronically Scanned Array, multifunction radar, offering superior detection range and precision tracking. Complementing this is a long-range sonar array and an infrared targeting system for submarine and low visibility engagements. These capabilities make the BRP Tarlac one of the most technologically advanced warships in its class. When it comes to armament, the BRP Tarlac LD-601 truly earns its title as a destroyer. It is equipped with a vertical launch system, VLS, capable of firing a mix of surface-to-air, anti-ship, and land attack missiles. The ship carries the latest iteration of the Sampagita missile, an indigenous long-range anti-ship weapon co-developed with Japan and South Korea. This missile boasts a range of over 400 kilometers and uses advanced sea skimming and evasive flight patterns to defeat modern defense systems. The destroyer also mounts a 127mm main naval gun on the bow, capable of precision strikes on coastal targets or enemy vessels. For close-in defense, it features dual CIWS close-in weapon systems that can shoot down incoming missiles and drones with pinpoint accuracy. Torpedo tubes and electronic countermeasure launchers complete the offensive and defensive package, allowing the ship to dominate in any maritime battle scenario. A major highlight of the BRP Tarlac is its modular mission capability. The ship's internal structure has been designed with flexible compartments that can be reconfigured depending on mission requirements. Whether it's amphibious transport, disaster relief, command operations, or full-scale combat, the vessel can adapt quickly. The flight deck and hangar can accommodate two medium-lift helicopters or a combination of drones and manned aircraft. The ship's well deck supports the launch and recovery of amphibious landing craft, armored vehicles, and small patrol boats. This makes the LD-601 not just a destroyer, but a multi-role platform capable of projecting power across both sea and land operations. Inside, the ship is a blend of cutting-edge technology and human-centered design. The bridge features panoramic digital displays, 
augmented reality interfaces, and automated navigation systems. The command and control center is built around a 360-degree tactical visualization wall, allowing the crew to see all operational data in real time. Living quarters have been upgraded for better comfort and endurance on long missions, featuring modern amenities, soundproof sleeping areas, and recreational zones to support mental and physical well-being. The ship can carry a crew of around 190 personnel, with additional capacity for 200 troops or mission specialists, depending on configuration. Sustainability and efficiency are also key aspects of the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD601. The hybrid propulsion system allows it to operate on electric power during low-speed or patrol missions, significantly reducing fuel consumption and emissions. Solar-assisted auxiliary systems power internal lighting and communication devices, reducing dependency on generators. The ship's waste management system is fully automated, recycling water, and minimizing ocean discharge, aligning with international maritime environmental standards. These eco-conscious innovations ensure that the destroyer operates responsibly without compromising its combat effectiveness. In terms of communication and networking, the BRP Tarlac features an advanced satellite communication array that links seamlessly with allied naval and air forces. This interoperability allows it to act as a flagship or command hub during joint operations. The ship's onboard AI-driven data management system helps prioritize information during combat, reducing cognitive load for human operators and enhancing response time. Additionally, the cybersecurity framework on board protects all digital systems from hacking and electronic warfare attempts, making the vessel as secure digitally as it is physically. Safety and survivability are also deeply embedded into the ship's structure. The LD-601 has multiple redundant systems for power, navigation, and communication, ensuring operation even after sustaining damage. Its compartmentalized hull design can contain flooding or fires to isolated sections, enhancing overall survivability in battle. The self-repairing composite armor coating automatically seals small punctures, a technology inspired by aerospace materials research. This innovation extends the vessel's operational endurance during prolonged missions away from port. From a strategic perspective, the introduction of the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD-601 destroyer marks a major milestone in the modernization of the Philippine Navy. It signals a shift from coastal defense to blue water capability. The ability to operate across open oceans and participate in international peacekeeping or coalition missions. The ship's combination of long-range firepower, advanced sensors, and flexible mission support makes it an ideal centerpiece for future naval task groups. It strengthens deterrence in regional waters and provides a critical tool for humanitarian operations, anti-piracy missions, and maritime sovereignty enforcement. Ultimately, the 2026 BRP Tarlac LD-601 is not just a weapon of war, but a symbol of innovation and national pride. It reflects how far the Philippines has come in developing self-reliant defense technologies while maintaining global partnerships. Its blend of stealth design, multi-role versatility, and advanced digital integration puts it in the same league as top-tier destroyers from established naval powers. For defense analysts and maritime enthusiasts alike, this ship represents the future of modern naval warfare. Intelligent, sustainable, and formidable. It's a vessel built not only to defend, but to inspire, reminding the world that the Philippines is ready to take its rightful place on the high seas of the 21st century.